Hello YouTube, this is Tilsar2, uh, returning from our prehistoric animal model review. Uh, today I'll be reviewing, uh, this, tar uh, this Tyranodon model made by, uh, Pampo. Yeah, and this is a very, uh, it is a very well mm, done, so, uh, a very beautiful sculpted model uh, of Tyranodon. Yeah, uh, mm, perhaps, uh, 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 uh no, uh, Pteranodon li uh, lived uh, lived during the uh, was a pterosaur and lived during the the Cretaceous period, and no, uh, well, si uh, well, seventy five million years ago, and Pteranodon uh, uh, is perhaps a, a, a very well uh, most well known uh, uh, of all uh, of all the flying reptiles or uh, or pterosaurs. Yeah, so that all, all that uh, appears in uh, do, a dozen movies, TV shows, cartoons, mm, uh, transforming uh, ter uh, Tyranodons. Yeah, yeah, Tyranodon uh, was, uh, was actually one of the most. Uh, yeah, Tyranodon uh, uh, name uh, means um, you know wing and toothless because all all of them actually lack teeth, although that. Although this model is not uh, not very accurate, I see it's kind of molded mm, teeth on its beak, which, well, which obviously Pteranodon did, uh, did not have any teeth. Yeah, and, th and this was uh, this was actually one of the most successful of, uh, of all the of all the pterosaurs. Yeah, the paleontologists probably found uh, uh, over you know, thirty different species of Pteranodon. Uh, li uh, living in uh, living in all uh, living in all uh, the fossils found uh, found in all continents. Yeah, and 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 this huge and this huge and this and this pteranodon's size was huge. Yeah, about twenty to twenty five foot wingspan. Yeah, about uh, about the wing uh, length. Span of a jet plane. Yeah, that. that yeah, although, yeah, although, although, lots of pterosaur species back in the Cretaceous period had, had twenty foot wingspan. So, so this is pretty much an, a, an average sized pterosaur uh, of the time. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, compared, uh, it's dwarf compared to uh, uh, to uh, giants like Quetzalcoatlus. No, the forty-foot wingspan. Yeah, but uh, like I said, Tyranodon is probably perhaps the most recognizable all, all thanks to the movies. Uh, and ha yeah, yeah, and, and it's just, uh, this hand uh, and it's, and these uh, wing membranes. Yeah, uh, help it and help it ride the height, uh, the hot thermals that this animal is. Uh, usually nests in uh, in steep uh, steep coastlines uh, of the ocean. That way, it can it can uh, it can rely on the uh, the high uh, the high projecting uh, the high updrafts uh, to take it off. You know, mu uh, much like a hang glider. And uh, uh, in actual fact, there uh, there were, you know, there was uh, there was actually a person actually build a. Mm, a hang glider that that, that, uh, that looks exactly that was, uh, that had to, that was designed exactly like a like a pteranodon e even its size. Yeah, that's so we could t that's so they could find out how these pterosaurs actually flown. Yeah, and they found yeah found out it's pretty much the same as hang gliders. They uh, they could when hang gl uh, basically jump off the cliff. Ride the hot thermal and, and they glide effortlessly. Mm. 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 Uh, soar effortlessly through the air. So very, very different when you see mm, very uh, no, very different. So these are flown very different than uh, than, than birds do today. <sighs> Yeah, and this is uh, yeah, this it's got this huge, large, uh, you know, large beak, a uh, large sharp beak, perfect for a spear, uh, which are, which is good, for, 
which is great for ca catching fish in the water, but uh, but re uh, really, uh, trying is probably more pro probably more specialized in stealing other mm, other mm, catches from pterosaurs. Excuse me, because it's mm, yeah, his spirit, his spirit and me can only get and could only get to the. Yeah, some some kids use use uh, use a sharp beak, but uh, much like to modern uh, frigger birds, and he just uh, peck peck on the entire sore fault and mm, catch a fish. Yeah, this tyrannosaur probably would peck it and mob it, get, try and get the ter uh, tell the ter tell the pterosaur drops it, and this tyrannosaur uh, actually no. Wow, uh, catch that fish and swoop down, catch that fish in midair. And pro probably like gulls, they sometimes sometimes they'll steal steal cat fish catches from each other. Yeah, but yeah, this is yeah, and this is a uh, this is a nice. Uh, uh, I mean, sure. Uh, I mean, there's cer certainly more uh, certainly a better way to survive than uh, trying to cat. Uh, catch fish and leave yourself open to uh, a predator like uh, <clears throat> oh, Crater Z uh, Zarina, uh, which will which will leap, uh, leap on top of the water and ca uh, cast a, uh, a pterosaur in midair down the sea. Uh, so uh, so yeah, and so. Mm, uh, some paleontologists do uh, think that uh, they date. They had like a little palace, so it's not like uh, water pelicans, so they could store uh, you know all, all their fish caches in their throats and their little pouches, where they could take on the so feed feed them, you know, where their chicks will fall directly, you know, feed them on the throat, you know, grab them in their throats. And uh, and for and of course he's got this long, uh, his long crest, yeah, which is which, uh, which early early paleontologists pro, uh, you know, theor uh, believe that this, uh, this crest was you used like a rudder, yeah, because yeah they were I guess uh, they, they believe they believe because of, you know they don't have it. Because they don't have any tail, uh, tail rudders like you know, birds do, and some pterosaurs like uh, Raphorhynchus who have a long tail, they, uh, they can act like a rudder as it steers. Uh, but uh, but, mo but, mo uh, but modern thinking is pr uh, pretty much this crest on its head was uh, uh, was more likely to attract uh, more, uh, attract females. Yeah, because he, because uh, he, because uh, he, because uh, the males and females actually had different shaped crests. So, mm, uh, so the male, uh, so the male could just fla you know, flash his long little crest, you know, to intimidate mm, other male right on, and also to mm, attract you know, females fl uh, flying overhead. And uh, the button, uh, the. You know, trying it on with a with a be, uh, the best most beautiful the the display crest uh, wins. Yeah, so yeah, this is a, this is a really nice uh, detailed sculpt of Tyrannodon. I mean, you could, I mean, I mean, Papo has, has captured this animal yeah, perfectly, even, even better, even a better attempt than. Uh, uh, Mm, no, Schleich did, yeah, with uh, Cancel Quatlas. Yeah, by the way, when I want to do a size comparison, you can see these two animals are actually out of scale. Yeah, but they're, but they're, uh, they are, they were made from different companies, so I'll let that slide. Yeah, but but uh, but uh, anyway, I brought it down as compared to the detail. Yeah. Of each. I mean, let me look at what's running right on. You got a nice, uh, you know, nice painted eyes. Nice, well detailed eyes. <sighs> of course, like you, get, you, know, you don't even have to get a painted eye. 
Yeah, and and also you know, all those uh, all the, all the Quetzalcoatlus or like made had a more genetic uh, pterosaur flight pose. Yeah, Pteranodon uh, really, really shows a lot more movement. Plus, uh, yeah, plus with its mouth open, you can see details of, of its of its little tongue. Yeah. Uh, right there, you got some nice detail of, uh, of the nostrils. Yeah, uh, also a very, uh, very nice work on the wing memory. It's not just, uh, you know, flat plastic. Now yeah, that's like did with this uh, cancel Quadlus model. Oh yeah, more uh, more detail. You can see the sca uh, scale, some folds of actually flapping, and uh, you've also. Yeah, and the and the and the, uh, and the, the wing femories are, are much better you know, sculpted, molded uh, than it was it was with uh, Chancel Colotlis, which is just basically you now all flat fingers. Uh, that, uh, yeah, right there, and all, and also the feet uh, are are better sculpted. You can see you might uh, give. Yeah, much more three-dimensional detail uh, of his feet uh, uh, than with uh, the Kento Kowalis model. Uh, so yeah, for for uh, curse, I like both these animals, but yeah, for de uh, detail why this model is absolutely uh, far superior than uh, than uh, Slyke's uh, Kento Kowalis. Uh, I mean, yeah, fair. Uh, yeah, and also got a nice sculpted, uh, sculpted wing, uh, uh, wing membranes, and this one don't have any feathers like the Kenzo, again, not, uh, not as flat as Kenzo Quatlas. <sighs> yeah, so yeah, this is, a, yeah, very, a very nice sculpted. Of course, Tyrannodon, her Tyrannodon, uh, it is, uh, most popular of all. Of all the pterosaurs, so I can see why they, uh, the Pample had to mm, make this guy uh, look gr uh, look great. No, for uh, for the eyes of uh, collectors. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. To me, to me, it did a, it did a very excellent job. Yeah, and absolute and and a really a uh, really nice. Uh, the detail muscle uh, of the muscles and the neck. Uh, so yeah, and and about uh, and probably best of all, you don't you, know, you don't hear or see the name Dronodon anywhere, which uh, really is not not a big deal. But if you're like uh, you want that realism, don't have if you don't like to having a name printed uh, printed on your animal chest, I mean, yeah, very, yeah, so yeah, this is, uh, yeah. You, don't, you don't have to worry about that in this model, so, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, this is, a, yeah, like I said, this is a great, a great pterosaur, uh, pteranodon model, yeah, if you're, uh, if you, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to collect, uh, prehistoric animals, you want to, like, have a nice pteranodon, uh, for your, uh, to fly over your uh, uh, Cretaceous dinosaur diorama, yeah, th this is this is actually a perfect one, perfect choice to get. Yeah, and that and that is pretty much it for my video review for uh, uh, Pteranodon model made by Papo. If you like this video, please show me the description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.